Hello and welcome to this Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program. In this um, in this short video, I will be showing you how to take a rocket into um, orbit around the planet Kerbin. Um, I've pre-built this rocket. It's not very complicated. It's got three stages, four stages, sorry. Um, the first stage is two of these two of these engines. They'll be dropped off to save on fuel. And then the other two will be dropped off when they run out. They'll transfer all their fuel into here, which will give this engine set of engines a much longer lifespan. Then this upper stage is basically um, to help us get into orbit and to wherever we want to go from there. It just consists of a, um, a nuclear engine and some fuel and a carbon on top with a parachute. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight to launch. Um, we are just going to alter the. Um, we're just going to alter one stage. This stage for this engine needs to come down here, so all these engines go off at once. We're going to throttle the system up to maximum. We're going to press T to engage the SAS, and then we're ready to go. So all we have to do is press space, and we're going to be airborne. Right. So we've got nothing to do really until we hit a speed of about 150 meters a second from the surface, and then start cutting the engine power back a little bit. So um, this will help us save on fuel and mean maximize the length of the time that we burn these engines for. So there we go. I'm just slowing it down now. Just progressively slowing the engines as we go faster and faster. Okay. Alright then. is about to run out of fuel. So we kill that stage and then we throttle it up. Okay. Right then we're waiting to now we just have to wait till we hit ten thousand feet and we can turn the ship. This will help us get a nice orbit with the minimum of resistance from the atmosphere. Okay, so there's 10,000 feet. I'm going to turn the SAS off, and I'm going to bring... I'm going to turn the SAS off, and I'm going to bring us over. There we go. There we go. Once we've completed this... Once we've completed this... Oh, bring it back again. I've overshot again. I always do that. Right, turn the SAS back on when you've got it on the 90 there. And then we can accelerate to full power again. And now we're just going to go to the map view. The map view is really useful because it allows you to see the orbit of your ship and what it's doing. At the moment it's growing and growing and growing. The only thing we can't see, however, is how much fuel we've got left. So I just want to look at this because I want to keep, keep an eye on these because I want to eject them as soon as they run out of fuel. Okay, looks like they're going to go, and they've gone, so we'll eject them. There we go, so that's that dead weight gone. And look at that, pushing out our orbit nicely. So we'll wait till this reaches just over 100 kilometers. And then, for the time being, I'm just going to cut the engine while I set up an orbit. I set up a maneuver. Maneuver nodes are really useful because you use them to plan a journey out and plan what you need to do to um, get your flight to work. Okay, so we want to try and get these as close together as possible. So 9606, 97, 99, 107, just a little more, 103 to 109, that's fine. For this, okay. And then we need to turn the ship to face that next thing we need to do is just turn the ship to face that blue that blue reticule that reticule shows us where we need to be pointed when we start our burn now I think we need to wait till there's about a minute left and then we should be safe to burn so I'm going to re-engage the SAS once I'm in place and I'm just going to um, set the time warp up here up to two so that um, well, wow, we're not waiting around for too long to get into the position then. Right, a minute. That should be about good. Okay. Yep, 
that's fine. Right, I'm going to turn the SAS off for now, and I just want to try and keep us as close to the centre of this as possible. Because once we start moving, this will start moving a little bit. Okay, you can see this is descending. That shows us how much speed we need to pick up or drop in order to get to the speed we're, um, we need to be at for the orbit. So, we watch it as it drops, and drops, oh, and drops. Okay, it's getting close. I'm going to drop off a little bit of speed here, just so it's easier to keep in track with this. And 80, nearly there. Okay. Okay, one point four. that's pretty good. Let's see. Okay, so we're a little inside. We can probably fix that. So I'm just going to bring the ship in to follow this. to be just a little further out so I'm going to find that blue thing again and we're just going to try and correct this if we can I don't think we'll be able to but we are now in orbit oh this thing is a bit difficult to navigate because it's quite long There's our little target. Okay, right, if I put us on there again. that we're going to get any closer than that. I'm going to leave that because I think we should be fine. I'm going to leave that there for now. I'm going to add another... That was silly. I'm going to remove this manoeuvre and then I'm going to use this new manoeuvre I've created to just push this out so these are about equal. 152, 157. Okay. See, that's not going to take much work at all to accomplish. We just need to be ready to hit that mark. Place. Right, we've got eight minutes to wait till the second burn, so I'm just going to fast forward time. Now, really, you want to do this in just the one burn. Obviously, I've made a terrible mistake with this, but we're nearly there. I'm not going to need much burn at all, so we're going to wait till we're about 30 seconds off the post. That ought to about do it. And then we're just going to push this out and push it out and push it. And there goes the fuel in that. So very quickly, we want to just stage to the next engine. And we want to just start that up, which is fine. Just want to push, continue pushing this orbit out, which should be fine. There. There we go, 152. 149, it's off, but not that much off. I'm quite happy with that. Like I said, I'm not that experienced with the game and I can manage this. And now we have a ship in orbit around Kerbin ready for next time to um, fly to the moon. I shall see you then. Good night.